Well, the first thing I'll say is like, I don't disagree with some of the things that, that, that uh, what is her name, Mosby have done. I mean, I, I think small, small crimes, like should not, we shouldn't spend our time prosecuting that, like someone with a very, very small amount of drugs, let's say. Um, but when you defund the police, uh, you, you have to do it smartly. You can't just say, okay, we're just gonna take money away and we'll just create this other thing that they as yet have no experience in creating. Um, if you take money away from the police, you're gonna take money from training. Why don't you like reallocate the things that ha you have the police do? Like, should we have the police making like traffic stops for a tail light? Probably not. It's probably not a good use of time and money. Um, but I do think, and I and I and, and just for this show tonight, Joe, um, I spoke to a friend of mine who is a former Baltimore police officer, and I asked him that if I gave him the magic wand, mm -hmm. what he would do. Would you like to know what I'd he would do? I'd love to. Sure, I, I have it right here. He said instantaneously. I would aggressively prosecute gun offenders. I would increase the penalty for in illegally possessing a firearm. I would focus on top areas where violence is occurring, an immediate action plan after shooting to touch those who would be the ones most likely to carry out retaliatory violence. And I would use state police as a presence in tourist areas and move local police back into the communities. That is something you hear a lot from police officers. They'd really like to police in communities and get to know uh, the people that they're policing, because that makes a really, really big difference.